Um, if you want to comment or give feedback uh, on Twitter, my tag is Star Diva. Just a little bit more about me. I am a, a part-time lecturer here at De Montfort University, teaching on the contemporary theatre module. Uh, I was born in Leicester of Jamaican and Antiguan Windrush parents. And, um, you know, I work very much as a multidisciplinary artist, mainly in literature, performing arts and digital um, media. I would say I have been a committed advocate for the continuing struggle against racism, sexism and the fight for equalities in general, locally, regionally and uh, uh, nationally. And I'm a founder member of Leicester Black Sisters, which was a black feminist group of black and Asian women. That's part of Leicester's story of the black community, but also part of uh, Britain's women's liberation um, movement. And in 2020, I became a patron of East Midlands Women's Awards, celebrating women's excellence and achievement founded by Sandra Pollock. I'm a mother, a grandmother, and recently a great grandmother. So I'd like to begin by um, giving a quote from Septima Ponsetta Clark, a 1960s civil rights leader, a mother of the American civil rights movement and a member of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. I quote, I have a great belief that whenever there is chaos, it creates wonderful thinking. So by way of introduction, I want to firstly talk about and underline the important moment we find ourselves in 2020. We find ourselves in the wake of Black Lives Matter, a worldwide solidarity protest movement due to the police brutal murder of George Floyd in the United States of America. One case, far too many of such cases in the United States of America, of black men and women, for example, Breonna Taylor and Sandra Bland, and many others with regard to their violent deaths at the hands of police officers. We have our own cases of black men and women's deaths in Britain at the hands of police officers, for example, Cherry Gross and Joy Gardner, or more recently, Sean Duggan. Indeed, this also is a list that is far too long over many decades. Some of these British cases resulted in protest, protest marches, campaigns and national riots. Black women activists in the United States gave us a slogan, say her name, as black women's deaths on both sides of the Atlantic receive less attention in general in media narratives than black men's deaths at the hands of the police. And in some cases, black women not only face potential deadly violence, but also sexual harassment by the police. As stated by Tarana Burke, the black African-American founder of the original Me Too campaign. As in the early 20th century, I want to highlight and link how the ingenuity, the dynamism and the courage of black women has helped to inspire all other women generally to push forward. As for example, Harriet Tubman or Sojourner Truth with their courageous actions freeing plantation slaves and their demands for the end of chattel slavery how this helped to focus and galvanize women's minds on both sides of the Atlantic with regard to their own position in society, which in time led to the development of first wave feminism, both in Britain and the USA. In both countries, this movement actually marginalized black women, although the movement was linked to abolitionism, and it was also concerned with the basic rights for women, the patriarchy and systematic racism vis-a-vis -vis slavery. Some key points. In the 1970s, both in the United States and America and Britain, black women have been at the very forefront of protests, the struggles and the demands for justice and equality. 
Some include the civil rights leader, Rosa Parks, or Black Liberation, Angela Davis in the United States, or Olive Morris or Claudia Jones, Black Rights in Britain. During second wave feminism, Black women, by virtue of what we now term intersectionality, that is being at the nexus of intersections of race and sexism, homophobia, able bodism and class, etc. We can begin to locate the role black women play as leading activists and their struggles to make real change, helping all women to push forward. In the 80s, it was a black woman a black queer woman, Audre Lorde, who rewrote the book on what is now known as second wave feminism, followed by Bell Hooks and Alice Walker and many others. Initially, therefore, it was these black women that were out in front calling racism and sexism, speaking truth to power. As Audre Lorde wrote in The Transformation of Silence into Language and Action, I quote, your silence will not save you. Or indeed, another black woman more recently, Tarana Burke, as I previously mentioned, founder of the Me Too movement, who speaks of the similarities between the Me Too movement and Black Lives Matter movement. She said, and I quote, they're both about fighting injustice. Both movements are predicated on undoing systems of oppression, unquote. Over five years ago, Hannah Georgis of the Guardian newspaper wrote, and I quote, the most recent dynamic leadership of black women is on the front lines and Ferguson and across the United States of America. The radical power of black women led acts, activism, unquote. The then Ferguson protests were the original birthplace of Black Lives Matter, founded by several black women, Alicia Garza, Opal Tometi, and two further women who were also queer, Patrice Cullors and Darnell Moore. As Colors stated then, and I quote, what feels different now is who is at the forefront of the conversation. There is a qualitative difference in whose leadership is being visibilized and black women are forcing themselves to the front, unquote. What is crucially important at this juncture is we need to identify ways as black women and indeed for all women to be able to sustain, nurture and excel whilst maintaining the continuing struggle for justice and equal rights. For this to carry on long after the media spotlight moves and shines elsewhere. So how can we do this in Britain now? I think we need to familiarize ourselves with the voices of young women, to refresh our thinking with gusto, to counteract our battering by the noise of incessant internet culture wars, as eloquently outlined by Nazreen Malik in her excellent book, We Need New Stories, challenging toxic myths behind our age of discontent. We women can create our own new stories and narratives to challenge, for example, what Malik calls the myth of gender equality, along with the many other toxic myths that we find in our society that she lays out in the chapters of her book. We can also note the shifts in language and discourse around feminism and racism, as exemplified by Rennie Edo Lodge in her timely book, Why I'm Not Talking to White People About Race. 
We women can begin to creatively explore the art of protest and joy. With our superpower of women's wit, humor, and legendary cunning. For these as new methodologies for activism, a politics of capriciousness or whimsy, to work alongside our earnest street marches, protest slogans and demands, or for women's strikes. As successfully done in Iceland, called the Women's Day Off, demanding improved pay and conditions resulting in a higher level of gender parity, or indeed the women's strike taking place right now in Poland with regard to reproductive rights. Now, Wikipedia tells us of many different protests led by women over the centuries. For example, disarming soldiers, nude protests. We saw a solo woman nude protest thwarting police state troopers this year in Portland, Oregon, in America. Or the way a TikTok makeup session is both pleasurable and actually politicizing young people, young women specifically, at the same time. Or yard bombing, or when we look at the squad, a solidarity power block uh, of American Congresswomen who are ethnically diverse. So taking space, playing games, challenging the patriarchy, women's visibility, our representation, our taking of space and power and raising women's voices, all of this needs to continue at a pace whilst also attending to self-care strategies and maintaining networks for our own support. We can discover new, innovative, woman-centered ways to sustain, nurture and excel and have fun whilst fighting to overthrow the patriarchy and other systems of oppression Women push forward. Our struggle continues. Thank you.